everybody, it's Joy with JoysLife.com and today we're going to work on making a double accordion gatefold card. Now, you may have seen the gatefold cards. They just open like that, okay? But what we're going to do is make it open like that. See, it's a little bit different. This is just a really fun card to make. Sometimes it's known as the double gatefold or double accordion gatefold. It's fun and it's easy. All right, let's get started with this. What we're going to do is just use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and that's what I've got here. Okay, if you don't have 12 by 12, really that's fine, because what we're going to do is you're going to cut it in half to six inches all the way across, okay? So I'll pretend like I just did that, and it was totally fascinating. So cut your 12 by 12 in half till you have a six inch piece. Now that we've got this six inches, what we're going to do next is to score the paper. And you're going to score it at, let's see, I think I have some dust on there. Okay, we're going to score it at two inches. And I've already done that, actually, but I'll just show you. You would run your score line at two inches. Then you've got another score line. You're going to score it at four inches. Okay, I've already scored that one, so I'm not doing it real hard. Then go all the way over here to eight and score it at eight inches. And then to ten inches here, score it all the way down to ten. All right, now you've got your scored paper. And can you see those score lines? They're there. There they are. I think you can tell that they're there. Now you're going to fold, all right? Now remember how we did that? This is what we're going for here. So let's keep that one down so we can make sure we fold it the right way. So let's see. Even I need to take a second just to be sure I'm doing it the right way. So we're going to fold like that. So that's that one. And then fold this one out. Ta-da! See, it's looking like something already. Yay! And then we're folding again. And fold out. There you are. A double accordion gatefold card. See how cool? I love it. This one's so fun. And you can make them really quickly, as you can tell. Now, all I did with this card is I took a sheet of 6x6 six six paper and just cut it in half. And I made sure that the flowers matched here just so it would give it a nice cohesive look. Then this is just from, um, let me get the right, I want to check and see the name of this paper. It's by Lori Whitlock. It's Echo Park. Hold on one second, I'll check. Okay, I got it. It's for the record too. All right, it's got some really cool things in it. But she also has a smaller pack that's six by six, and that's what I used. Um, and I just cut it in half, like I said. And this is one of the embellishments that comes in this kit. But um, you can use other things too. You don't have to have, have this. And then I just use those same embellishments to go inside. These are stickers. That's a sticker too. And then this is just another piece of paper. I like that paper. It's really pretty. And so there's the back. Nothing special. Okay. But um, once I had the card made and everything, I thought, well, wow, that's really cool. But how do I keep it closed? Because what I did here was, oh, this is kind of fun. This normally is just real sticky on the back. It's an adhesive um, chipboard piece. I was about to say die cut, but it, it is die cut, but it's chipboard. See the thickness there? Anyway, to keep it from sticking to the other side, you can use, because this is sticky on the back typically, um, you can use baby powder and rub it across the back and it'll make a sticker non-sticky. But I didn't have any baby powder. Uh, so what I did was cut a piece of paper out that fits us exactly and it's kind of nice too because it matches the paper on this side so I like that um, anyway once I stuck that on there I thought well this is pretty but how does somebody keep this card closed so when they take it out of the envelope it doesn't just pop open I have a plan let's check out what I came up with next well the next thing I did was to take some 12 by 12 paper that I had left over and cut it at an inch and a half so let's do that and I love this trimmer, by the way. This is the Fiskars trimmer. I talk about it all the time. I just, it does such a good job. I just really like it. Oops. Well, I say that, of course, then I don't cut it all the way through. My fault. Hold on one sec. There we go. All right. Now, all you're going to do is, this is a 12 inch long by one and a half inch wide piece of paper. Now, you're going to score it at three and a half and seven and a half. And, Excuse me while I turn this thing 
my direction. I'm kind of all wonky in here today. I don't have things set up like I normally do. Okay, so we're going to cut that, I mean trim that. No, not quite our trim. Score at three and a half and then score it at seven and a half. Okay, that's all you're doing. So really, really simple. Then you're just going to bend right where your score marks are. And if it doesn't look like it fits perfectly, it's not supposed to. Because what we're making is a little belly band to go around your card. This is what's going to hold it closed. Now, people have to slip it off to open their card. But this is what keeps it closed and looking nice and everything. So um, it doesn't pop open, you know, when you don't want it to. So here we go. Let me just show you how it works. You're going to tape the back of it when we're all done. Or use a glue dot or however you want to do it. But in general, this is how it goes. See how nice that is? Now that'll hold your card closed, and you can just put a piece of tape, like I said, back here, or a glue dot, or however you want to stick the little belly band together. So glue that piece, and of course I don't have my glue gun anywhere close by, or dots or anything, but we'll pretend I do. Okay, and so you just have that on, and then when you're ready you slide it off and then their card will open that way it's not such a surprise like this one which is totally fine and cute but really as soon as it comes out of the envelope pow you know sometimes you don't want that you want to just take it easy but what's kind of cool too is with the belly band you can have this embellishment for example on it so then they would slip the whole thing off so it would be sort of like imagine if this were all the way behind that center piece and that's how it would be. I'll show you a quick finished card about how this could look with a cute little belly band on just this plain yellow card. Now I got out my all around sentiment stamps. You can find these on joyslife.com and they're really fun because they work with one inch and well that was a one and a half, one and a half inch punch and a one inch punch which is what I used to make this. So this has stickles in the middle of it and everything, but you just take your stamp, and I'm using uh, VersaFine ink, but you use whatever ink you like, and I just stamp the stamp into the ink, and then I had like this whole stamp here. I had that, and then I took my punch, and I punched it out, and had the big one. So then I decided to stamp again, punch a punch another one of the same thing and use this punch to have the middle. Then I just pop dotted it. So basically you're punching two stamps and then I mean you're stamping two stamps and then you're just punching them out to make a layered image because you see there's the little flower under there. See? And then just a pop dot on top. Then I use stickles to kind of fill it in. Okay so that's how I'm going to decorate my little belly band. Now isn't that cute? So now you could have this little card and have your belly band across it like that. Well, this time I found my glue dots, so let's get those and get to dotting. So let's just stick a glue dot to the back of it. And I like to work with glue dots, especially in little projects like this, because you don't always need that huge ATG gun, which I do love to use, but sometimes it's just so much simpler to stick things using glue dots or... Um, whatever you have like that and pop dots too I love those I love the 3d effect of pop dots okay so now I've got that thing done and I'm just gonna fold it over and remember we want that little puffy piece to exist so it'll go over the card right so it shouldn't be totally flat like this because then you're not gonna be able to open it up and get it over your card Okay, and now I will position that as best I can in the middle. Uh, that is not centered. That looks good. Okay. Centered! Now, I said finished card, but by finished I meant belly band, right? And so not the whole card. I said I was going to show you on a finished one. That was a bit of an exaggeration. We're just going to flip it over this plane. Completely unadorned card. Come on now, work with me. You're making me look foolish. All right, I got it. See? Ta-da! And there it is, holding and looking cute. So this could go on any kind of a card, really. It's just a simple way of holding this particular card together. 
and then the people will certainly figure out that they just need to slip it off to open it up but even if they tore it that'd be fine so it's just two different looks for the same kind of a card you've got your belly band and then the regular way so either way is totally fine and fun I think this one looks really cute with just a little bit of embellishment on just about any card. It's so much fun to just decorate that little belly band because it's adorable anyway. Just use a variety of different colors and ideas and, you know, who knows what you could come up with, right? Well, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks again for watching my video and I hope to see you soon at joyslife.com. Bye!